one of the ways that organizations can uh, protect personal information and limit their exposure to breaches and to regulatory sanction is to uh, either de-identify or anonymize personal information. Those two terms sometimes are used interchangeably, but they actually mean different, different things. Uh, de-identified information is when you take, uh, for example, an account number and you star out uh, all of the digits except for the last four and you disconnect the ability to, to um, understand or identify the rest of the account number without a separate table or code. Uh, it's separating um, demographic data from the name of the individual. So you might just be left with ages and cities and um, genders. That's de-identified data. It's still subject to data privacy requirements, but it's more secure and uh, allows an organization to use that information in ways that are less likely to violate data privacy requirements. Anonymized data is data that is permanently rendered uh, unidentifiable and disconnected from an individual. There is no process in which you can reverse anonymization. Once personal information is anonymized, you are no longer subject to data privacy laws or restrictions for a contract or a privacy notice. At the same time, it might, uh, anonymization might reduce the usefulness of that personal information going forward. But from a security and ethical uh, perspective, anonymization is one way that an organization can uh, retain some of the value and use of personal information without uh, exposing it to the risk of a breach, misuse, and regulatory sanctions.